Hi, I'm Chris Morgan. Today we're going to talk about the mysterious world of geometric vanishes. They've been around for several hundred years and they've fascinated mathematicians and other people interested in puzzles and games for a long time. Here's a great example that Robert Neal created. This is his brick wall illusion. Two pieces, take them apart, put them back together again, and suddenly the wall has a hole in it. Mysterious. Or does it? Because if you just put them back together again, the hole goes away. So let's take a look at some other geometric vanishes. Here's a classic geometric vanish. This goes back quite a ways. In fact, there's a drawing of this in Lewis Carroll's papers from the 19th century because he was very interested in geometric vanishes as well as all kinds of puzzles and games. So this is an 8 by 8 square cut into four pieces. We're going to rearrange the pieces like so by rotating these two and then we're going to form a rectangle made out of the four pieces. What's interesting is that when we're all done, the rectangle is 13 by 5 squares, which equals 65 squares. So we seem to have gained one square because the square, of course, was an 8 by 8 and that was 64. Now we have 5 by 13. How can this be? Well, the answer is it's not a true rectangle. It's missing a certain amount of space. In fact, if you look at this very carefully, if I align it exactly right, you will see that this angle and this angle do not add up to 90. They're slightly less than 90, and you see there's a gap running right through the middle of this rectangle, and that gap is exactly equal to one of these missing squares. So it's an illusion. It's a magical illusion that if you don't look at it too closely, you might think, oh my gosh, we've just created area. So this is a classic. It's a lot of fun, easy to make, to cut out, and it will fool your friends if they don't look too, too closely. This is called the infinite bar of chocolate because it seems that just by moving a few of the pieces around, you can suddenly gain new area from nothing which is kind of interesting because that would violate the laws of physics. So I've turned the puzzle upside down so you don't see the lines going up and down. Now I'm going to do the puzzle by first taking this little square out of the way and then I'm going to switch those two pieces there to make a new rectangle and voila, all of a sudden this piece doesn't fit in any, anymore. It's as if you're back to your original chocolate plus a brand new piece. In fact, that's not the case at all. What's happened is the entire rectangle is slightly smaller in height because of the, uh, the, the, the way the switch is done. Let's put them back on the other side so you can see this done with the lines. And then I think you'll see it'll be a little more obvious what's going on. So we begin with the first position, and here is the, the 4 by 6 rectangle. Now again, I'm going to take the small one out and I'm going to switch these two and and there we have created this new rectangle but as you can see down here this row is not nearly as tall as the other rows and that's where the area changed so so in fact this entire rectangle is now shorter by exactly the amount of area made up by this missing rectangle and that's really all there is to this but it's subtle because it's not uh, easy to see where the change is taking place now for our grand finale, my favorite geometric vanish. This is the dollar bill geometric vanish. We're going to show you two different versions of it. This is a dollar bill you'll probably recognize, and it's made up of five pieces that fit together very tightly. Let's take George Washington out of here for a minute. Now I'm going to take these four pieces, and I'm just going to turn them over. And get them going in the right direction now. So I'm going to reform this dollar bill using these four pieces. And now, oddly enough, there's no hole in the middle. It just fits together absolutely perfectly without George. So <laughs> the question is, what's going on here? Well, let's show you the, the second version that you can make easily yourself and you can play around with this and fool your friends. This is the incredible Martin Gardner dollar bill geometric vanish. It's very similar to the dollar bill done with the real dollar bill that I showed earlier. 
So let's see what happens this time around. Now we will give you a link that will give you a template you can print out on both sides of a piece of paper and you can try your hand at this wonderful geometric vanish which really uh, is my favorite. So we're going to take Martin's photo out of here, Martin Gardner here, being uh, depicted in the middle here, a little mini tribute to Martin. And we pick up the four pieces, we turn them over, and then we form the back of the money. And what we're going to find out is that once again, the dollar bill goes together with no hole in the middle, and the pieces line up perfectly. There are no angle gaps and such. In fact, you could take a protractor and you could show that the angles all match. So, where does this missing area go? By the way, on the back of Martin's uh, photograph is the Cheshire Cat, since he was so interested in Lewis Carroll and the Alice books. Well, this area is distributed around the outside of the rectangle, not inside the spaces between the pieces. So this rectangle now has shrunk down equally all around, uh, and so it's slightly smaller than it is when you build it from the other side. And one of the reasons that this works is because the pieces don't just turn over. They actually move to a different part of the image because the corner here isn't a corner on this side. It's an inner piece, and the other end becomes the corner. So when you're doing this, when you start with the four pieces on the front and you're going to hand it to people, first you take out Martin's picture. I pick them up like this in a stack and I turn them over and hand them to people and then they don't realize that the pieces that used to be corner pieces now, the corners are in a different location. So that's the Martin Gardner, incredible dollar bill geometric vanish. I hope you enjoy playing around with it.